Hello, welcome to TAM Talks. Today we are speaking to the 2022 council candidates to, to get to learn more about them and who they represent. In this uh, episode, I'm talking with John Hanley, who is the executive director of the Museum of East Texas in Lufkin. Welcome, John. Hi there. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thanks for, for joining us today. All right, John, let's get uh, let's get started. Can you let us know how you got into museum work? <laughs> it's hard to believe that uh, it's 1987. So what, 35 years ago I was? Uh, well, I mean, to be honest, I grew up with a, as a fascinated with museums and uh, was fortunate to go to a school district where museums was a part of our curriculum. So we went to visit them. When I was in college, I became an intern at the Watkins Museum of History and Art in Bellingham, Washington. I went to Western Washington University. And all these years later, I'm still really close friends with the curator of collections who I uh, interned with. So um, I've, I've always had a huge appreciation for museums and uh, of all kinds. And I like to say I was kind of a weird kid when I got a driver's license in high school. I would skip school and go visit museums. <laughs> you know? I mean, not that I didn't do other bad things too, you know, but but um, like the Museum of History and Industry in Seattle or the Seattle Art Museum, um, which was about a two hour drive away. Um, but I loved to go to those museums and still do when I'm up there in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Well, uh, let us know, uh, you know, I know that you just recently took on a role at the Museum of East Texas. Can you let us yeah. know a little bit about, about your new museum? Yeah, well, so this museum was founded around 1974 in the old St. Cyprian's um, Episcopal Church. Uh, in the, uh, around 1980, they expanded um, to a, another large exhibition space that is multi-purpose. We can have one big show and there are several shows at one time. Um, so uh, we have a, a nice permanent collection of mostly um, Texan uh, art, but some American and a few European pieces as well. Very large historic um, photo archives, which we are now scanning um, and, and getting um, uh, digital uh, on that. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got a very active board. Um, uh, and uh, this is a really generous community out here in East Texas, and, and they love their museum. And this community really loves this museum. So it's, it's been a wonderful fit. I was at Stephen F. Austin State University for eight years, um, and then uh, 15 months ago, took the position here. All right, well, congrats. Yeah. Um, speak, speaking of boards, um, you know, we, we're, we're talking to, to you as a candidate today. Um, why do you think you'd be a good fit for TAM Council? Uh, a few things, a few reasons. One, over the past 35 years, I have worked in several different kinds of museums. I've worked in uh, the Museum of Vision, which is now I think called the Museum of the Eye at the American Academy of Ophthalmology. So it was uh, medical history, but it was also informal science education. We developed all kinds of uh, programs, including um, uh, a uh, traveling exhibition that compared theories of animal vision with human vision. That now lives at the San Diego um, Zoo. And um, I worked at the Jewish Museum in Berkeley for two years. I uh, took a, a large loan of uh, artifacts to Berlin, Germany and installed them there. Um, I've done uh, freelance work as an art curator, as a uh, his history curator for Cupertino Historical Museum the Meridian Gallery in San Francisco. Um, and then eight years, I was director of the galleries uh, at Stephen F. Austin State University. Um, so I, I bring a, a, a breadth of experience um, from multiple disciplines. Um, Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So, in, uh, so having worked with museums, I'm sure you've worked with boards before. <laughs> so um, what qualities make a great board member in your opinion? I think, first of all, you have to be passionate about what you're doing. I mean, I, uh, I look forward to coming in every day. Um, and I think that 
uh, you've got to be willing to engage on a number of levels. You've got to be able to have the elevator speech, which is, you know, in, in, in two minutes or, or less, uh, why what we do is important to the community, to, to the uh, quality of life uh, here in Texas. Um, and in particularly, I have to say, I have a fondness for small institutions. Um, and uh, I love working with interns and um, students. And uh, in fact, I'll be bringing two uh, three student employees to TAM this year. Excellent. Um, yeah. Um, you've got to be able to engage on a number of levels. And what I love about small museums is that you get to wear different hats. Mm -hmm. um, you're not just doing one thing like you would do in a big museum. If, if you're a registrar, that's pretty much all you would do in a, in a large institution. Um, so I love the breadth of experience and, uh, and what we do in small communities. You know, in a, when I was at, like in San Francisco at the Meridian Gallery, we did amazing things, but so did a thousand other institutions there. <laughs> um, out here, when we do, when we put on a big show, it makes a big impact on the community and the quality of life. And so I'm, I'm always an advocate for the smaller institutions. Not that the, I don't like the big ones. I love to visit them. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's a big part of TAM. I I, I did I looked at our institutional members members and about fifty percent have a staff of zero to two full time staff. So yeah, um, Texas is has a, a wealth of small museums and. We have the mighty, mighty middle that's about 36% and the rest are the largest museums in the state. Yeah. So pretty good yeah. mix there. Yeah. Well, John, thank you for, for joining us today. Um, you know, for, for those of you who are watching, this is uh, we, the vote is open through February, okay. through the end of the February. If you're an individual member, you get a vote. Or if you are an institution, you can get one designation from your institution to vote for council. So we hope you do that. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in, uh, I will definitely see you in Waco at the annual meeting, John. Yes, I'll be volunteering in the uh, um, uh, administration of some kind there. Yeah, yeah, I registration. Mean, so registration. We'll, that's right. So everyone will get a chance to meet you uh, come uh, come March. Okay, very good. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye.